the Vagabonds are well overdue for some land time. But just when we thought we could use a break from our floating home, we're wishing we'd never left. It's been upgraded to a hurricane. What the hell is going on? A few inches away from the door handle. Welcome to hurricane season. Really excited for a bit of a reset. We've been on the boat for so many months now without really having all the conveniences that you guys are so lucky to have. Most of you guys are so lucky to have. I'm embarrassed to say that I'm, I'm just looking forward to walking through a Whole Foods. There, I said it, I confessed. I just want to look at all the things. And I also want to surprise Riley, so. It was his birthday the other day and the kids were sick. We didn't really do anything for it. So I have a fun day planned for him. It's just like it's humid and we're hot and sweaty inside and partially wet. It's just one of those sticky mornings on the boat. A few boat people out there will know what I'm talking about. But we're not complaining, I'm not complaining. We're actually got to move our boat to a mooring ball so that it's safe for the whole time that we're going. It's very, very protected in here at the beautiful, beautiful Hope Town. Vagabond locked up, we're heading ashore where our tribe will stay for a night before boarding our tiny aeroplane to Fort Lauderdale. Right about here, we really thought we were about to have the most relaxing trip at one of our patrons' incredible houses. Until we check the weather a couple days later. It's funny looking back at this footage and just wishing you could have sent yourself some kind of message, like on Interstellar, telling you not to go. So who have we got <laughs> So who have we got here? Jaheem, I'm helping my good friends that sail this wonderful boat. Thank you. You're welcome. Alright, Darwin's happy now. He's got his bottle. This is where him and I slept last night. We actually all got a room together because it was way cheaper and I nominated to sleep on the shitty <laughs> fold out bed mattress which is just springs. It's the worst mattress ever. I regretted it immediately as soon as I laid on it. So bad. We're flying today. Nearly there. And yes, my jumper is inside out. I got really cold in the middle of the night last night so I put it on. <laughs> Something that was of much embarrassment was this block of cheese that Riley decided to take with him last minute, which we had to declare at customs, <laughs> has actually ended up saving the day. We're all starving. The kids haven't eaten since the morning, so they're so grumpy, we just ordered Uber Eats. Back in the world of Uber Eats, everyone. We're about to nibble on this to buy us some time because everyone is so hungry. And it's good cheese too. This is so good. <laughs> How are you this morning, really? Incredible. What's new? I've been up. I've been getting done. We're off the boat for a bit, which feels really good, you know? I love the boat. I want to be on there forever. But I think kids have just helped us understand more that you need to get off the boat a bit. Mm. We've always needed to, but have just felt ungrateful. So we've just yeah, stuck just with it for to too it. long. Yeah. I don't think it's, it's good to spend as much time as we have been over the years. Just, we need to break just, it up more for yeah, sure. Yeah, 20% less time on board, I'd say. We should call it a land perspective, because suddenly, as soon as you're in a house, you realise how cool the boat is and how much you miss it. Stop trying to coin profound phrases. <laughs> <laughs> we should call it a land perspective. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> in this 
short time that we've been here in civilization, we've felt the difference between boat life versus city life, like the ease of getting water. Did she frighten all your, all your friends away? And food. City life. <laughs> the, the electricity, I just left my laptop plugged in overnight and didn't even feel bad about it and didn't fear what percentage a battery was going to be in the morning. Didn't have me going, turn the inverter off, Alana. I always leave it on by accident and then that you causes... all my power. Yeah. Getting mail. <laughs> just testing some gear out. It's going pretty well. Wow. Wow. I'll tell you all about it when I'm properly tested. When you have pants on. We have some good friends here in Miami, JC and Anna. Thank you so much for letting us use your house as our mailing address. We have no place to get things sent to. Twice a year, we'll get a bunch of mail sent with things like samples. We really want to sell these in the future. This is a really good quality jacket. It's the best. That's I'm amazing. Dry. I'm so happy with that. We obviously want to make sure everything's really, really good quality before we would put it in the store and sell it to you guys. I think this has passed the test. I well, love I'm going to wear it for a couple of months. <laughs> okay. The fact that there's a good doctor at every corner, that's a nice feeling. Usually we're at least a boat ride and a plane ride away from good health. Let me listen to your heart. Let's see. Can you hear your heart? What sound is it making? It's making too noise. Really? Yeah, like this. I guess being in a solid house, I feel safe. Like you see some dark clouds coming over and you don't fear for your home, you know it's gonna stay up. <laughs> but at the same time, I always think if there was something crazy to happen, imagine how clogged up the roads would be. You're thinking about zombie apocalypses. Not I'm, really. I'm thinking about squalls. Like if there's if there's 50 knots coming, I'd rather be in a house. If there's zombies coming, I'd rather be on a boat. Oh, and what about the ease of self-care here in the city? This is Courtney, she's just on my hair. The niños are in their beds for the evening. It's a miracle. Both children are sleeping and it's 7 p.m. This is, I can count the number of times this has happened on one hand. Yeah. So we're about to stream one of our favorite shows, which is currently only available in Europe from here in the USA, thanks to today's sponsor, which is ExpressVPN. And I know Riley's so keen to watch this show, but. No, well, I owe these guys a massive amount. When, when, so I read all of Frank Herbert's books when I was a kid, and when June came out, I was nearly not going to be able to watch it, and I pulled yeah. it off. Whether you're watching on Netflix or HBO or Hulu, ExpressVPN can help you get access to thousands more shows and movies that they're actually hiding from you because streaming services give their users different shows depending on which country you're in. You can change your location to 94 different countries so we can access sites and services from around the world as if we were in that country. Until we found ExpressVPN, which was a couple of years Years ago now we would sail from place to place and we'd usually use like a an unsecure public Wi-Fi network which in hindsight really wasn't safe because anytime you connect to a public Wi-Fi anyone using the same network with only basic computer knowledge can easily steal your passwords account logins and even financial details which is what happened to us we had all of our passwords and information and money stolen we wound up on that Russian sub going under the Arctic <laughs> you got to get a VPN. And if you're a technical kook like me, they've got 24-7 support. So if you have any issues, they'll be able to help you out. Find out how you can get ExpressVPN for free for three months by visiting expressvpn.com forward slash SLV. It's been upgraded to a hurricane. Oh God, really? Mm. What are you going to do? Fly back and... After this, we're leaving. So what winds are we expecting then? Well, well this is the thing, that it's not so powerful this time of year. So yeah. it, it's, you know, it's probably gusting the 50. I haven't checked. So it says 30 to I haven't 40. checked predict wind. I've only checked the NOAA website. Okay. What's happening? 
Um, the lady's just asking if you can come early because they want to leave before the weather gets any worse. Lenny, I gotta go. I'm gonna go back to the boat. Lenny, give Dad a cuddle, he's leaving on a plane. Can I have a kiss? Say good luck in the hurricane, Dada. Can I have a hug? Thank you. Stay safe. Yeah. I'm Could more worried about this bad. flight than anything. Really? Yeah. Well, <laughs> the first thing I've got to get. Yeah. So I pulled up to this freight plane place and they're like, it's the wrong one, go next door. So I've gone next door and I'm late. I'm in the right spot. There's a guy in here from the maintenance department named Ron who says I'm in the wrong spot. And then the lady that I've been dealing with on the phone is like, no, you're in the right spot. Ron doesn't know what he's talking about. I think that's going to be my plan there. Can I go through and speak to the pilots? She's not here. The pilots aren't here. I think I just got poor old Ron in trouble. Sorry, Ron. Yeah. So you were just saying that we might not be able to fly because the ceiling is dropping. It's dropping, yeah. So that's okay. going to be a decision that a pilot is going to have to make. Okay. See how you guys are heading this way? Yeah. You have storm like all the way around. Can you explain why we're not flying today, mate? We have a huge uh, system moving towards our way. I really don't know what the weather conditions are going to be at Treasure. It turns very fast. We live in South Florida. Weather can turn quickly from good visual to marginal visibility to IFR. IFR means that no fly. It's for us that we are VFR aircraft, we cannot fly in IFR. Okay, so there you go. It's just not safe. Dude. Yeah. You want to be safe. I, I understand, yeah. Good call, man. Thank you. So I think the pilot made the right decision. It immediately started bucketing down. Even too rainy for my adventure hat. Luckily, I've given this a trial run and it's waterproof AF. Hello? Chad, how you going mate? It's Riley. Hey Riley, come on buddy. So I was just going to fly over uh, to man the boat because this hurricane's coming. Yeah. And my flight got cancelled this morning. I was wondering mate, if you had a spare captain that could um, stay on board overnight or, you know, one one night probably in two days, just during the worst of it. Yeah, do you want to keep it where it is, or do you want it, like, moved into a slip? No, nah, it's on a mooring ball in Hope Town there. Oh, I, yeah, I, that's right. I saw it the other day. Yeah. Oh, did you? So you're, okay. you're good with it there? What do you reckon? <laughs> I know this thing keeps changing, so it's tough to say. Let me just see what I've got available. A couple of the captains are on their own boat. Yeah. Uh, i got a couple that are staying in our marina, though, that might be okay with Okay, no worries. You're on film, by the way, and it's another ad for Cruise Abaco. <laughs> 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 Sounds good. While we knew Chad and Captain Luke would protect our baby, Riley and I were feeling incredibly anxious, given how helpless we are, stranded in Florida. The best thing we could do now is keep our minds occupied and our worries at bay, for the kids' sake. Go. Run, run, run! I'm gonna rain drive too. It's flooding in Miami at the moment. We're in Fort Lauderdale. It said this place is at risk as well. The pool's flooded. Come on, let's hold hands. You ready? Ready? ready. Catapult together! Let's go! Ready, set, go! Come on! Raining hard. A massive thanks to these two legends. I'm sure the boat will be fine. The weather's not as bad as we thought that it was going to be, but there's heavy, heavy rain. So Miami's flooding. I just keep thinking about her slipping off that mooring or dragging the mooring and washing up on some rocks. The rudders cracking and um, our boat sinking. So that's what's going through my mind. You guys are likely wondering what happened to Riley's surprise. It was 
Casey's birthday the other day and the kids were sick. We didn't really do anything for it. So I have a fun day planned for him. Long story short, I'd cancelled our appointment when we thought Riley was flying to the boat and when we realised he couldn't go, I couldn't even get our appointment back. Sorry, next year, babe. Very funny. It's in one piece! How does it feel being back on board? <laughs> Safety line over here has snapped and that's what our halyard is tied to. So it would have been whipping around like mad and pulled on this. We should have done it by now. Is have a designated place for the halyard to tie off to on the side. We've always done it on the lifeline and it's not built for it. It kind of smells like a cat. Do you reckon a cat snuck on board? Oh god, that's what it is. Oh. Because we thought David was coming back. We were like, we'll leave him these lovely avocados. <laughs> and then David didn't come. I guess it's avocado or hummus or something. Avocado. Oh my god, that is disgusting. Oh, ew. So the first thing we've noticed is that the boat is absolutely filthy. Uh, I don't know if the dirt came with the rain or just like the dirt was up there on the sail bag and it all just washed down in here. But there's just brown dirt everywhere. So the boat needs a really good clean outside. How good do these look? Yeah. Unbelievable. Ellie and the kids are just over at this playground over here. We just wanted to get a head start with the unpacking. Without Ellie, <laughs> we'd be dead. <laughs> Travelling with two kids, I'm sure a lot of you know, is really hard especially at Darwin's age they're not listening to you and they're having tantrums so that was tough and we couldn't have done it without Ellie and we're really looking forward to having David back tomorrow as well there are twigs in the cockpit I've never seen any remains of a tree in our cockpit before so that's what it got to it got to 50 knots here in the mooring field we uh, collaborating with Diver who make certainly the best prints and arguably the best fins in the world. That's clearly Riley free diving and um, the new trimaran. Cannot wait to put these in the store. They're not cheap but they're the best and that goes with our whole philosophy of buy something once, yeah, buy it right. Buy something really good and it'll last your lifetime. You know what I've done don't you? No. Oh you put them on the wrong way. Perfectly backwards. <gasps> Oh god, you buffoon. Yes, I'm an idiot. Hot tip, pun intended, keep these in the sun before you're doing it and then they slide on nicely. So I wanted something pink and yellow to match the weight belt I've always had. So I have my friend Tessa who is an amazing artist. I'll link her Instagram here and in the description below. She did both of the prints and wow, like they came out better than I could have imagined. So bright and yeah, I had the crabs looking like scales at the same time, but it's not until you get up close you realise they're all crabs. Anyway, I thought it was pretty cool. Thank you, Tessa, you're amazing. And Ben from Diver. Tessa also created two of the prints for our new Vagabella Swim collection, where we donate to charity. Pick up some swim in the description box below.